Today we are in Genoa, at the basin of Porto Antico, a place that was once dedicated to commercial activity and in 1992 was devoted to tourism and recreational boating. We will take a quick look around the port, but we are mainly here to try out the Pirelli P0 880 Sport. It is a perfect balance of style and sport. It has a simple look, but it offers a lot, and it does it with class. The project was developed using quite a large hull, and its space is really advantageous. There are no bulky boxes. This way, the boat can be used as a support for large yachts or regattas boats. The Pirelli brand is the sponsor of an important spring sailing competition, the Coppa Carlo Negri in Portofino, and the president Marco Tronchetti Provera uses it as a tender for his Cauris, a 30-meter sailing boat. Observing Genoa from the sea, one can see its extraordinary similarity to Naples, but there is an unmistakable element that reminds us of where we are, the lighthouse. In the last few years, Genoa has seen a surge of tourists, the historic centre is directly in front of the touristic port and whoever arrives by boat can easily visit it on foot. However, the most popular attraction by far is the aquarium that boasts over one million tourists a year. The first thing that catches your eye on this boat are the red cushions that underline its sportiness. There are also alternative colours that include champagne or light grey. The shape of the bow addresses two important demands. The hull is nice and sharp to cut through the waves, while the deck is wide enough to accommodate three sofas, or, as an option, a small table and a couple of sunbeds. The windshield is practical, but it is also an important aesthetic. If we turn over the cushions at the driver's wheel, we have access to a fridge. The passengers who are seated on the sofa will enjoy the soft material they are made of, the protection of the sides and the security offered by the high back. Underneath the sofa is a small shade that can be mounted by sliding it along the rails that are the same ones used for the sails and it is large enough to place it wherever you like. The cover over the engine accommodates a large sunbed that is partially protected along the sides and towards the bow. The rear platform is made of teak wood and has a small ladder that can be used to climb on board. The rubber sides sport the Pirelli logo and towards the centre they have the unmistakable Pizzero tyre logo that is both decorative and practical. It serves as a footrest when climbing on board. Let's leave the Genoa port and admire on the left the largest sailing dock in the world. Today, however, we have one other important objective, to try out the Pirelli P0 880 Sport. It is a true dinghy because the rubber tubes touch the water, not only when it is anchored, but also when it is in motion, and this means we have better control of the steering. The position of the pilot seat is very comfortable, the wheel can also be adjusted, but I don't think anybody would use it in this truck driving position. It is much better to use it in the standard driving position. The throttle is close by, but I would have preferred to have it a little closer, because I need to lean forward to accelerate and decelerate, particularly in a situation where I need to suddenly slow down. This model is equipped with two 4.3 Mercruiser engines of 220 horsepower each, making a total of 440 horsepower. What does this mean? I'll show you. It has a fantastic acceleration.
It's good to start with the trim lowered, with the propellers close together. This way, the hull stabilizes at a slower speed and allows maximum comfort for the passengers. We are cruising at 2,800 revs a minute at a speed of 25 knots and each engine is consuming around 21 to 21.6 litres an hour. When you have so much power at your disposal, you can choose how fast you want to go. You can always rely on the massive horsepower it has to offer. Of course, if you want to be careful while navigating, always keep the trim lowered, but only up until a certain velocity, because when you push harder, it is advisable to do the opposite. We are at 30 knots and 3,400 revs a minute, and if you want to cruise more efficiently, this is the right moment to bring the propellers closer to the surface by lifting the trim. The hull rises, the engine is less noisy because the strain is reduced, we can go faster, and we consume less fuel. The engines are very capable of running at high revs for an extended period of time. We are at 4,000 revs a minute and traveling at 38 knots. This way we can cover long distances in a short amount of time. Full throttle, the trim is lifted and now we can really find the maximum capability of the Pirelli P0 880 Sport. 45 knots. A bit more trim. 46 knots. Can you hear that? We are at maximum revs. 5,000. 47 knots. That's not bad, and I still have complete control. Now let's make a few turns and see what happens at this speed. It's really surprising how agile and well it performs at this velocity, and it is still very precise. It is really extraordinary, even through the wake of other boats. It can cut right through them and maintain its route. Its acceleration and ability to turn at high speed is really impressive. I thought that the red colors of the sofas was only an aesthetic characteristic, but the performance of this boat reminds me of the red colors of Maranello. I thought that the name Pizzero was only a commercial name, but in reality, it keeps its course so well that it reminds me of the Pirelli wheels that are used in racing. The Pizzero 880 Sport is not just glamour.